Okay, so for this question then, we've got to show that the sum of r plus 2 multiplied by r plus 3 going from r equals 1 to n equals 1 third n multiplied by n squared plus a n plus b. And we've got to find out what the values of a and b are. So to do something like this, what I'd want to do first of all is just copy out this as the intro, the sum r going from 1 to n then of r plus 2 multiplied by r plus 3. And we'd need to expand this. So if we expand this, then we still got r going from 1 to n. Keep this in brackets even though we're expanding it. We've got r squared then plus 3r plus another 2r, so that's going to be 5r. And then 2 times 3, that's going to be 6. Now, what we need to do next is we can do the summation across each term. So for the first term, we've got the sum r going from 1 to n of r squared. And for the second term, we can pull out 5 and then do 5 times sigma r going from 1 to n of r. And then for this last term, we can pull out the 6 and do the sum of r going from 1 to n of just simply 1. Now, we've got the various formulae for r squared, the sum of r squared. We're told that we can use the formula for the sum of r. We should know that. Let's just write it down in the, uh, the margin over here. We should know that the sum sigma r going from r equals 1 to n is n over 2 multiplied by n plus 1. You'll find that generally in most formula books. Now, to do this then, all we need to do is just substitute then our values in. In the first part of this question, we saw that this summation was 1 sixth of n multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by 2n plus 1. And then for this term here, if we multiply 5 with this, we're going to get plus 5n over 2 multiplied by n plus 1. And if we sum up 1 n times, that's going to be n. So we end up with plus 6n. So that's that bit done. Now I'd want to pull out, say, n over 6 as a common factor. Um, well, I say it's a common factor, it's not really. I, I, I would pull out n because that's in the top here, but 6 for the lowest common multiple. So if we pull out n over 6, then what do I have to multiply that by here? Well, it's just going to be the n plus 1 to n plus 1. n plus 1 to n plus 1. And for this one, I've got to multiply top and bottom by 3 here. So I've got n over 6. So that's going to be plus 15 and then n plus 1. So n over 6 times 15 n plus 1 will give us this term. And for the 6n, I've got to multiply top and bottom here by a 6. Okay, So that's going to be plus 36. Now if we expand this and group up terms, you should find you end up with n over 6. And then you've got 2n squared plus 18n plus 52. Now 2 is a common factor here, so I could pull out 2 or divide through top and bottom by 2. If we do that here, we can get just n squared, 9n, and half of 52 is going to be 26. As long as we divide the 6 then by 2 and we get n over 3. So this is looking pretty good now when we compare it with what we've got up here. We've got, let's just write it in again as one third n here and then bracket n squared plus 9n 
plus 26. So when you compare this to what we've got here, you can see that the A must be the 9 and the B must be the 26. So if we put to the right here, therefore A equals 9 and B equals the 26. Okay?